Hey everyone, it's Jenny here from Angel Handmade Papercraft. Today I am working with Whimsy Stamps and I am using one of Chrissy Armstrong's stamp sets today. I am using Dinosaur Friends. So I have inked them all up using my Misty Stamping Tool and I have stamped them all out at the same time onto some Express Set Blending Card. So I am colouring all of the images up using Copic Markers. So I'm just going to work my way through and then I will have three cards for you. So I have popped each of these dinosaurs onto their own little card and um, I have all of that on video for you. So we will just get through the colouring pretty quickly. So the first one that I'm colouring is the little pink dinosaur. So I'm using some RV 02, 04, 06 and 09 on the little pink dinosaur. I'm also, um, later on we'll be using a one of those little grass areas that are stamped out and I'll be using YG 23, 25 and 67. I don't think I have that on video but just in case you were querying the colours. Now I am working on my little orange dinosaur. So I am using uh, YR 12, 14, 16 and I'm using YG 21, 23, 26 for his belly and his spots. I've got the colouring all nice and sped up for you. These are actually quite quick to colour up anyway, but I did speed it up for you anyway. So just popping down a layer of the lightest colour and then I'll go in and go darkest to lightest. So here I am just adding in all of those dark areas. And we will go back and start blending all of those colours out. And that is the orange dinosaur pretty much complete. I do go in and add some white um, gel pen detail into the images. Now I'm going in on the last dinosaur. For the last dinosaur I'm using blues and yellows. So I'm using B12, 14, 16 and 18, Y11, 13 and 18. So again this is a nice quick one to colour as well. I did go in with the yellow first because I didn't want to pick up any of that blue while I was trying to colour the little polka dots in. Blending all that out and then I'm going back in with my blue markers. So I am popping down the lightest colour first just to make sure that that paper is nice and wet for me to colour. And then I'll go in and go darkest to lightest. So now we're going in and mapping out all of those darkest areas. This does look very, very dark here but it actually does blend out quite nicely and gives it a nice tone. Going back in with my medium colour. Starting to pull that colour out just that little bit more. Pulling, pulling, pulling. So this is the next colour down and starting to blend it all out now. These dinosaurs were super, super cute, but it was so hard to decide on what colours to colour them up. So I may go back in later and colour some more up. I decided I wanted to add some googly eyes to these dinosaurs. So I'm just using my Silhouette Pick, up, Pick Me Ups tool and I'm using some Tombow Mono Multi just there. I've just tapped some out on my glass medium mat and then I just carefully tap the googly eyes into it just to add some adhesive and then pop those onto my card. Now I'm going in and adding all of those details in and that's the images all coloured. I wasn't sure at this stage that I was going to use any of that grass so I didn't bother colouring it up. But I will do that off screen. So now we're going into the first card. So the first card is a birthday card and I'm using the orange dinosaur. So the paper pad that I'm using on this one is... Bum, 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 bum. Oh. I don't think I wrote that down. Well, that wasn't very clever of me, was it? No, I didn't. Hmm. Okay, so I am using some pattern paper. Um, I've just ran through one of the pieces of pattern paper through my 
Big Shot just using some, one of the Spellbinders Nestabilities label 18. And now I'm stamping out a sentiment from the, um, this is from the My Favourite Things gift card greeting. This is my favourite stamp set at the moment. Um, I did decide just to blend that black strip in a little bit. I would cut another one of those Spellbinders dies and just use the next one down and cut it with some black. And this sentiment here is from the Avery L North, Pal North Pole Pals stamp set. And I've just inked that up using some um, Incon 3 embossing ink. And then I've just gone in with some Zing embossing powder in the silver. And for the Wishing You, I used some uh, Ranger Superfine White. So I cut that little high out from that same paper pad that I used here. It's actually the uh, Lily Bee Design Pinwheel 6x6 paper pad. Using my Scotch ATG to pop all of those layers down onto a Kuja Creations card base. And I'll just go in with my scissors and just cut those excess bits off the sides. And pop it down to the card base. I do decorate the inside of the card as well, just using some of the leftover pattern papers. And then I add a rectangle of white cardstock. And that's the card done. So that's card one complete. And now we're going to move on to card number two. All right, so card number two is the little pink dinosaur. So for the little pink dinosaur, I am using the Crate Paper Love Notes 6x6 paper pen. Fussy cutting the image out, just running around the outside using my Tombow Jewel End Marker. And I cut one of these sentiments that I had stamped out from the stamp set for this one. And I'm cutting all of the layers down using my Caterpillar Pro. I was going to use this circle on my card as well. That's why I just cut that out of the patterned paper, but I actually didn't end up using it. So I did just put it back in the paper bag for another card. The heart is from the My Favourite Things Stitched Heart Stacks. So I've just run that through my Big Shot. And here I am using a piece of that grass that I did colour off screen. And that's my card done. It was a super simple card and looks really cute. And now we're going to move on to card number three. So card number three will, of course, be our little blue dinosaur. So for this little blue dinosaur, I wanted to throw in some extra colours. So I'm using a little yellow bicycle make in the grey to paper pad. I cut one of the sentiments down from the stamp set and I've just um, used my scissors just to trim it down a little bit more. Grabbing a doily from my stash. I thought that Gorora stamp set was cute and I wanted to use it on my last card. So I added it up the top to those other ones that were actually on the pattern paper. And I've adhered that down up there. Popping down a doily and the sentiment. Um, I decided to cut a circle of pattern paper out here, but then it was too much. So I added another die to the center and then just turned it into just a border die, which looked really cute. And it pretty much completed my card, so I was really, really happy. I'm um, adding it down to a Kucha Creations card base, just using some Scotch ATG, and decorating the inside. And that's this card done as well. So that's three cards using the same stamp set. They all turned out fantastic. I thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all soon. Bye!